Mutability means the ability to change. String is basically immutable. That means it cannot change once it has been created. Many times you see someone assigning a new string to an existing string, string variable. What happens is the old st string is now zero reference counted and it is a potential candidate for garbage collection and the new string that gets created will be will be assigned to this variable. So the variable is now pointing to this new string and the old string is garbage collected. String buffer is mutable that means it can change so you can keep adding more to a string buffer. So once it has been created you can use the append method on the string buffer to keep adding more content to a to an existing string buffer. So that's what makes it mutable. So you can add more content to it. Similarly, the string builder is also mutable. So you can use the append method on the string builder to keep adding more content to it. So it looks like the string buffer and the string builder are more or less identical, but there is a small difference between the two. Let's look at what the difference is. So the difference between the string builder and a string buffer is in the thread safety. The string buffer class is thread safe. That means all its methods are synchronized. Whereas a string builder is not thread safe. Its methods are not synchronized. So if a method is synchronized, there is a slight performance overhead when you call that method. So in your program, if you don't need thread safety, then you can just use string builder. But if you need thread safety, then you use the string buffer. So when to use each one of them. If you require immutability, then just use the string class. But if you need mut mutability and thread safety, then you use the string buffer. And finally, if you need mutability but not thread safety, then use the string builder, which will give you better performance than the string buffer.